CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello, I'm Liz, and these are my friends, the bears. They've been having lots of fun playing in the CBB's house, but now it's time for you and them to settle down with tonight's bedtime story, which is about a bear. But this bear is a very different bear to my bear friends. Would you like to hear it? The story is called Grizzly Dad by Joanna Harrison. Dad woke up in a grizzly mood. All morning he groaned and grizzled and grumped. And then he went back to bed. He was just like a bear with a sore head. When Mum had finished clearing up, she and my little brother and sister had to go out. Go and see how Dad is, she said as they left. So I went upstairs to wake him up. Dad, I whispered, but he only grunted. Dad, I said, but he only snuffled. <laughs> Dad, I yelled and pulled back the bed covers. But it wasn't Dad in bed at all. It was a great, big, grizzly bear. I should have been frightened, but the grumpy look on its face reminded me of someone. Dad, I said, is that you? The bear rushed off to look in the bathroom mirror. He grunted miserably. Don't worry, Dad, I said. I'll look after you. So I wiped his eyes and combed his hair, brushed his teeth. He was a bit smelly. And I gave him breakfast. But now that Dad was a bear, his manners were really quite awful. And when he started rummaging around the fridge, I'd had enough. Dad, I said, I'm fed up with you. First you're in a bad mood, then you turn into a bear. And now you're making a horrible mess. Dad looked at me in a funny sort of way. And before I knew it, we were off, heading into town. Vroom! First we went to the cinema. It was great. We had the whole place to ourselves. I was beginning to realise that having a grizzly bear as a dad wasn't so bad after all. Then we went to the park. I taught Dad how to skateboard and he taught me how to scratch my back and climb trees and how to just lie about doing nothing at all. When we got home, we made honey sandwiches and watched football on the television. It had been the best day ever. Thanks, Dad, I said. You're the greatest, even if you are a bear. Then Dad did what dads do best. He gave me a great big bear hug. And when I looked up, he wasn't a bear anymore. Suddenly, Mum came back and everything returned to normal. Well, almost. What a mess, said Mum. This place looks like a pigsty. Hmm. Sorry, we grunted and trotted off to clear it up. That story was called Grizzly Dad. What a fun time the boy and his dad had. I wonder if they were really tired at the end of the day. Now it's time for you to go to bed. So I'll say good night and sleep tight. I'll see you again soon with another bedtime story. <laughs>